From the floor of the CME Group, this is Danny Riley on today's mid-morning update. We're going to call this video Russia and the S&P 500. The high of the day in the S&P came in at 1976 even, mid-morning or early morning. The low came in at 1962 even recently. And last, we're, 19, we're 1966 half. We're down 8.3 handles. Total volume, we've got 1.2 million minis traded with 215,000 that coming from Globex, and we've got 1.3 thousand big S&Ps traded in the pit. Now look at, we're off to a very, very volatile start this morning. The, Russia, the U.S. put sanctions on Russia, the Russian markets were down the most in a month and a half, or down over one and a half percent. And, 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 now let me, and the bonds were up over a full point. Now again, let me explain to you how this works. All this selling starts filtering in through Asia. And then it moves into Europe. And when that happens, that selling eventually bleeds into the U.S. markets and into our index, our future, our indice futures. So this morning when I got up at 5 o'clock in the morning, the S&P was down four or five handles. By 6.30 in the morning, the S&P was down 13 handles. Now, what, what, this go, what this tells me is that everybody out there sold into this decline. I've tried to explain this to you before. Once everybody sells pre-open, 8.30 open in Chicago, and all the selling's used up, what those sellers do is they put in buy stops. You already ran the sell stops in Globex, right? So those sellers that sold at low prices, they, put, they layer their buy stops in. The futures don't open down 13, they open down seven. And what do they do? They rally another seven handles. Now, after the S&P made its high, it was still holding in there a little bit. I mean, it was a little bit off its high. And then we got the, we got the headline about the Malaysian airliner going down along the Russian-Ukrainian border. Now what we're hearing is that the, 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 the jet, it was a passenger airliner with 250 people on it, was hit by a missile. Now, we're getting into a very, very volatile time, both in the year, in the summer, and where we at on the markets. Now, I'm bullish, but I want to explain something. I'm also ready to jump onto that other side as quickly as I think that that's going to happen. But what I do think is that we're not going to crash off the Russians uh, with, off of Russian sanctions. We're not, probably not going to crash off of a jetliner being shot down. I know it sounds funny, but at the end of the day, it's going to be an accumulation of, of, of many things. Now, on top of this stuff that was going on with this airliner going down, they put off the Alibaba uh, IPO until September. This puts another little cloud over the market. You know, do they have enough buyers to the, for this IPO? It's all a big shell game right here, you guys. Look, I, I, I'm bullish. But I want to explain this again. This thing can turn on a dime. I don't think that's going to happen right now. I, I think that we're going to get into October, you know, September, October. That would be my point in which I think we could have a turning point. But to tell you the truth, it just seems like every big decline is met with a, a, bigger, a, a bigger rally. Now, from the low of the day this morning at Globex, it's at 61 and a half. We rallied 14 and a half handles. From the opening range, we rallied seven handles. And on the last sell-off, from the, for the high of the day down, we sold off 14 handles. So it's very volatile, very choppy, and size volume. I'll be back on the closing print.